I have a question really for you girls. Going back to social media, what is a, I guess I don't see a big deal in like guys liking like other girls pictures and relationships. Like I, I don't see it as a big deal at all. Like, if her ass is showing, you better not like that picture. <laughs> if she has if her whole body out. And you're supporting your sister or yeah. maybe, you know, don't somebody that's close to you. But I see, I don't it, see a big deal. Like, what's the difference between that and them going and watching porn? I mean, see, the, it's sorry. emotional <laughs> cheating. In other words, on some level, he's not happy and not satisfied. It's also possible he's got some kind of addiction, maybe a sex addiction or something like that, like we talked about. With, um, I don't know if that part got cut out or not out of the podcast, but one of our recent podcast go- guests had a, a boyfriend that was into that stuff. So, you know, it, it, it depends. I mean, definitely don't DM or comment on a girl's booty pic. I don't know. That's kind of sus on my end. Not trying to restrict the guy from doing whatever, but. Because if a guy's content with sus. this woman, he's not going to be doing that. He's going to be paying attention to anybody else. He's going to be so happy with this girl. Yeah. yeah. His, like, and because he feel, feels like she's the hottest woman on the planet and he's he's yeah. done as good as he can or wants to or needs to. And if he's constantly constantly liking all these girls' pictures, everything, even she posts once a day or every week and he's liking, that's, that's kind of like an issue. She's a placeholder in his like, life. What is the purpose for yeah. you? Like, go ahead, look at these pictures. What is the p- purpose of double tapping? You're giving you're, the other You girl. want her to see that, like you're adding, giving it attention that it doesn't need, you know? Like, like what do you get out of double tapping? Like, you can just keep scrolling, look, and go. Like, yeah. I had multiple relationships that have ended because of that, because literally all of their following was just straight girls, bikini pics, um, Instagram models that have like 10K considered a, an Instagram model, which I don't think it is because am I a model? No, but I have 13K. I literally had to like prove a point to one of them at one point. Um, and like literally straight girls. And I'm just like, like, what you is were the, with like, guys that weren't all in. Yeah, That's like, the line. they're, like, obsessed. Like, you need to have a new face. Like It's like they get bored, almost, yeah. of of what they look at. So they keep following more and more and more. And it got to the point where, like, he was even liking them. Like, I will see he recently followed a new girl. And I'll go to her pictures and look. And literally the most recent ones, the first recent ones, like, three of them, his name is under each one. You got to get better at pre-qualifying your Liking man. each one. And I'm just like, why? Are they why? Pics, though? No, it's just regular pictures. But it's like, are you trying to get in her notifications? Because I notice when guys go spamming my likes and stuff. That's I mean, my pictures. So it's like, why are you doing that? Like, if we're together, why are you doing that? Like, You're seeing the relationship and the reality is better than it is instead of as it is. What do you mean? You're seeing, you're you're seeing, you're projecting your fantasy of what you want. And you're ignoring the fact that it's not his actions aren't reciprocating that. Yeah. And so, so that kind of behavior is the type of thing that you got to look out for and recognize. Because mm-hmm. if he's doing that kind of stuff, he's either got an addiction issue to it, or he's just not that into you. Yeah. And you're not, and so you got to love yourself enough to say, "Fuck this! I want somebody that's really into me." If this mm-hmm. guy's liking some other chick's photos, and you know. He can go on down the fucking road. I'll find find somebody else. Yeah, it's like instead of waiting and hoping that things are gonna change mm-hmm. or that they're gonna get better or that he's gonna wake up like we were talking about with you know Daniela the other day. Yeah, it's like if you bottom line the person's actions, their actions tell you everything. Yeah, it's like he was still looking around, if anything. Yep. So mm-hmm. that's why our those it was two relationships. So when you that see were that, like you were like, check please. So you yeah. see that behavior. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. Goodbye. There's no coming back from that. So that's my answer to your question. It's a no for me at all. Survey says, eh. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. 100%. Yeah, I don't like that. We asked 100 people and they said no. I think <laughs> liking pictures but following multiple girls, like 20 or 30 and they're just girls, in one night, that's, an, that's OD. That's a lot. And that's what happened to the person I was with or whatever. And I'm like, all right, you're following people, but why are they all girls? Oh, no, I followed a guy. No, you didn't. 
they're all girls I see in the receipts. That dude's a liar. And then you go in, like you said, you go into their profiles and they're liking pictures, old pictures. Yeah. And it's just why you're doing that. Now you're getting the attention of someone else. When you see that else. behavior, though, you gotta recognize. Check, please. I'm I should out of have. Here. And my, mm-hmm. are you I actively so dumb. like searching for that though? I wasn't searching. For, what do you mean? Like if you're like if you're like actively like trying to see like what they're liking, like who they're following, like I think that's a red flag on like your end, and like that just makes insecure. But that's the thing though. I didn't have this issue until one time one girl came to my dms and i had to look i'm like what are they talking about Mm -hmm. and that's when i discovered so she told you that your boyfriend was texting or messaging oh yeah there was a message she sent me she sent me a screenshot screenshot. jocelyn had the same thing happen yeah and i exposed his ass real bad Mm -hmm. some dude was with another girl and i think you knew knew the two of them right or knew her and no it was one chick so you knew her though right you're kind of i didn't really know her i I, she was a friend of a friend or something like that yes so she, you know, is getting these messages from this dude who's supposedly in a relationship with this other chick. And he kept messaging her. And so she, you know, shared him and blew his ass up. And then they broke up after that. It's crazy how he messaged me. And then at, in the beginning, and then I saw he post pictures with this, with this chick. And then I'm like, okay, cool. But then it wasn't until he messaged me on Snapchat that I noticed something was kind of off. And then... He sent me a thing or two that really did, like, confirm my suspicions. And the worst part was that I did find out from that girl that they started, uh, how they got official, like, around April. And the first time he messaged me was around May. Damn. And I had no idea. So that made things a lot worse. Now, I mean, I'm pretty sure the dude hates my guts. He thinks I'm some, like, crazy bitch or something, but... It's not well, my... you did him a favor because the bottom line is it didn't serve him and it didn't serve her to stay involved with like, each other. It's really none of my business. Like, I don't really have to tell her anything, but I did it because I thought it was the right thing it's to do. It's part of the do. girl code anyways, <laughs> being a good human. Yeah, I think it's the right thing to do. But women do it know? too. Women, yeah. you know, monkey branch from one guy to the next. They're with a guy and then they start something new with somebody else. And when it looks like the new thing's going to take off, then they get rid of the old boyfriend or the husband or whatever and <laughs> Because they can't break up and have an ending and go through a single phase. They have to find the next dude to go to Monkey Branch to. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, I was just going to say to Macy that my, like the whole, like, are you doing it to yourself, like going through likes and stuff like that? Like mine wasn't even that case. It was like, you know, the For You page on Instagram? Mm-hmm. And you say like, oh, look, she's pretty, right? The first name under that picture was his. So I would go to her page, look, doesn't even follow her, right? But you look at the most recent, his name was here, his his name was there, there. And I'm like, are you trying to get her attention? Like, he knew yes. better not to follow yes. her. Mm-hmm. But yes. yeah, the answer is yes. But yes. him, obviously, manipulative would be like, no, like, it's just a picture. She's an Instagram model. I would look at her followers and it'd be 10k i was at 5k at the time i'm like she's not no instagram model i can get there within two weeks give me two weeks now i'm at 13.4 i have more than her and i'm like am i an instagram model no so i literally he was like <laughs> this I was is like, called I the prove- vetting <laughs> process though when you date you gotta like i was talking about with Daniela, is that you gotta know your goals and your values yeah and make sure the other person shares those and you look at their actions you don't just get carried away on your emotions, which you tend to do, because all mm-hmm. all people oh, yeah. make decisions based on their emotions, and then they use logic and reason to justify it. And so you have to learn to exercise emotional self control, men and women, mm-hmm. and look at the facts. Are they reciprocating? And and I'm I'm looking for the red flags. I'm looking for disloyal behavior. I'm looking for white lies. I'm looking for inconsistencies in their stories. I'm looking for words and actions not matching. And when you see something like that, you have to recognize that behavior is what it is. There's on some level, if the guy's got some kind of sex addiction, he can't control himself or whatever, and he needs help, that's not your job to fix him or save him. Yeah. But at the end of the day, if that's not the problem, then it's because he's not that into you. And mm-hmm. you want to be with a guy that loves you and cherishes you and thinks you're amazing. And wouldn't even want to waste his time looking at some other girl because you're everything. Mm-hmm. You know, he feels like he's got the fucking best girl on the planet for him. He doesn't want for anybody else. Mm-hmm. Unless you see that, unless you, you know, like I said, when you see that ratchet behavior, you gotta, 
you got to pull the root cord. you got to pull the plug because yeah. otherwise you waste years of your life. And then before you know it, you're 30, you're 40, and, yeah, and you time don't... goes by and you waste years and years. Because a lot of people do that and they stay with somebody that's kind of good for now. And then they get pregnant and like, oh, well, I'm staying it for the kids. Like mm-hmm. I remember a friend of mine that we used to hang out with, very successful guy, had a successful family business. And I remember we would go out and when he didn't meet a chick and go home that night, He'd get home at like 3 in the morning, drunk as hell. He'd call this girl, text her. She'd come over, fuck him. And then he'd like kick her out in the morning. She was like his always, would do anything for him. Mm -hmm. And he wasn't even that into her. And then later on, he ended up marrying her and having kids with her. And he's still with her to this day. And they're both ginormous. And this Mm -hmm. was a good-looking, fun, cool dude. And, you know, he married his... Booty call. His his booty call, basically, because he settled. (laughs) But... Uh, like I agree like I it takes learning in the moment to realize it and it sucks that you only realize until everything has already happened like I wish in that moment I could have been like all right red flag I'm out but it's hard because you're like so naive in that Mm -hmm. moment and but I know it now and I'm still learning and I'm still trying to work on that and eventually I want to get to that point like you said like notice the ratchetness and be like okay bye you're not worth my time so really, it's wasting my time, and I don't want to put up with that anymore. Go ahead and like your pictures. And part mm-hmm. of that communicates to the universe what you want, because whatever you tolerate, you invite more of. Mm-hmm. And so when you get better, it, you know the universe tends to send you the same kind of people over and over until you learn to transcend it, and then you can delete those people from your life when you recognize it, because yeah. that's a statement of who you are. I mean, because you focus on your goals and values and become the kind of person you want to attract. Eventually, you, you meet them. Mm-hmm. I'm ready for that chapter in my life. Mm-hmm. 